In this video, we're going to work on identifying three types of energy. So the three types of energy are kinetic energy, which we're going to abbreviate KE, and this is energy of motion. GPE, which stands for gravitational potential energy, which stands for energy of elevation. And EPE, which stands for elastic potential energy, which is energy due to stretching or compressing. All right, so let's take a look at our first problem. So in this problem, you'll notice that every problem defines a reference level. So in order to know if an object has GPE or not, we have to say, is it above this reference level? If you're working on a problem outside of this website, then make sure you always define your own. All right, so in our first part, we see the cart is not moving, so there's no GPE there, but it is above our reference level. So we do have gravitational potential energy. In this problem, there are no springs or bungee cords or anything that's stretching and trying to snap back to its original position, so there's not going to be any EPE. All right, so next at point B, the car has started to move down the hill. Since the car is moving, it has kinetic energy. But since we're still above the reference level, we're also going to have GPE. And lastly, at point C, the car has reached the reference level, so there's no GPE, and all the energy has become kinetic energy. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our next problem. So in this problem, a cart with a compressed spring is at rest at the initial time. A student then pushes a bus button, releasing the spring. At the final time, the spring is at its natural length. Neglect loss. All right, so in this problem, the cart is at the reference level the whole time. So there's not going to be any GPE in this problem. Initially, when that spring is compressed, so we can see the spring right here is compressed. It also said in the problem that the compressed spring, that means we're going to have elastic potential energy. After the student pushes that button, the cart starts to move. And so at the end, we're going to have kinetic energy. It says at the final time that the spring is at its natural length, so the spring is stretched out to where it sits naturally, so we're not going to have any EPE at that time. All right, our last problem we want to look at is a student is going bungee jumping. Assume work done as she jumps is negligible, drag is negligible, and the cord is stretched any time it is straight. At D, she has reached her lowest point before recoiling. All right, so let's take a look at a reference level right here. So at point A, she is above the reference level, so she must have GPE. She doesn't have KE because she's not moving, and you'll notice that any time the, the bungee cord is slacked like this, then we don't have EPE. It's not stretching right now, so we'll have it later in the problem. All right, moving along to point B, she just stepped off the edge. She's now moving downwards. So since she's moving, she's going to have kinetic energy. By the way, we can always tell on this website if the object is moving by those three motion lines right there. She's still above the reference level, so she also has GPE. Again, there's no elastic potential energy because this cord is not stretching yet. It's also not yet reached the original length of the, of the cord, which is shown over on this side. All right, so point C, at point C, she's still above the reference level, meaning she has GPE. She's moving, and see the motion lines, so she has kinetic energy. At this point, however, she is beyond the length of the unstretched bungee cord, so anytime she's below this point, then that cord must be stretching. We can also tell that the cord is now straight, which is another hint that we could have EPE. So at this time, she actually has all three types of energy, GPE, KE, and EPE. All right, point D shows when she has reached her lowest point. That's where we defined our reference level, so she won't have any GPE right there. The cord is stretched beyond its natural length, so we'll have EPE. At the bottom, before she pops back up, she has to stop, which is what's shown here. Also, we don't see motion lines, so that means the only type of energy she has here is elastic potential energy. 